Okay, so we're on Algebra 1A Credit 3. We're on page 7 and 8 here. So let's just uh, kind of jump into this. We're talking about slope. And we're asked to describe the slope of the line that joins the points. We're not actually looking for the slope just yet. We just want to know if it's positive, negative, if it's uh, a slope of 0, or it's undefined. So those are the things that we're looking for. So uh, we are told that the slope is positive if the line slants up. So you might ask yourself, how do you know that it's slanting up? Well, in the Western world, we read from left to right. So if we look at this graph, if we look at the graph of example number one, right? Uh, we're going to start here. That's our starting point. And as we can see, when we read left to right, this line is going to generally trend upward. So what that means is that the slope is going to be positive, OK? Um, and if it starts sloping downwards, we're going to say it's negative. If it's horizontal, right? So meaning if it's just not going up or down, it's just horizontal, then we have a slope of 0. And then an undefined slope is when we have a line that's just going straight up and down. So when the line is vertical. So um, I apologize for my terrible explanation. But if you have any other questions, please ask your teacher. Let's go ahead and jump into question number one. All we want to know is is the line positive negative uh, does it have a slope of zero or undefined okay so if we look at question number one we can see that from this starting point here from left to right we are generally trending down so we're going to say that the slope uh, is negative question number two we can see here that from left to right sorry let me just keep going around from left to right it's not going up or down and it's not vertical it's horizontal so we have a zero slope. Okay, easy enough. And by the way, those uh, should have been review from your Math 8 class or a pre-algebra course maybe you took. Uh, on the next page, on page 8, we're talking about rate of change and we're asked um, to tell if the rate of change is constant. In the example here, they actually include the slope. Um, but they're only asking whether or not it's constant, so that's all I'm going to do actually. Uh, for these questions. So uh, your big question might be, how do you know if it's constant? Well, let's take a look at the example. So we're given this xy table here. The, the x values are up on top. The y values are here on the bottom. And we have an x value of 1, 2, 3, 4 up on top. And we can see that from 1 to 2, we added 1. From 2 to 3, we added 1. From 3 to 4, we added 1. So we have 3 plus 1's up there, and none of those are different. So that was constant. And we have to see if that's the same for the y. If it's not the same for the x or the y, then we can't say that it's constant. And sure enough, if we look at the y values, from 16 to 22, we're going up by 6. From 20 to 22 to 28, going up by 6. 28 to 34, going up by 6. So that is also constant. So we say the rate of change is constant. And they tell you the slope here. Um, and it's a little early. The, you might have covered slope in your Math 8 class or your pre-algebra class. And again, the slope is the rise over the run, but uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So let's see if questions 1 and 2 are constant or not, or at least the rate of change for questions 1 and 2 are constant or not. So if we look at question number 1, from 2 to 5, we did a plus 3 there. We added 3. From 5 to 8, we added 3. From 8 to 11, we added 3, so a little mental math. From 6 to 15, it looks like we added 9. From 15 to 24, we added 9 from 24 to 33 we added 9 so we can see those are all the same the plus 3 all across the board plus 9 all across the board there so we say um, yes it is constant constant okay so let's take a look at question number 2 from 3 to 6 we did a plus 3 from 6 to 9 plus 3 9 to 12 plus 3 from 2 to 6 plus 4 6 to 11 plus 5 oh that's interesting 11 to 7 plus 6. So those are constant, but look at the, the y values there. It went up by 4, 5, and 6, so this is no, not constant.